Man, I feel very cool right now. I'm at a stoplight. Oh, dang it, it's turning yellow. Anyway, I'm at a stoplight. Uh, kind of like uh, liking myself because I just got a haircut. Uh, and I just dyed my hair last night. So I looking very black, right? Looking very black and uh, kind of like young. <laughs> Because I'm almost 50 years old. I'm 48. I was born in uh, 1967 at the. Uh, I was baby Tet Mo Than. Baby Tet Mo Than means I was a baby when the Tet Offensive attack from the North Vietnamese uh, army attacking the South Vietnam. So there were a lot of war sk skirmishes, uh, battles, and I was a baby. My family had to grab me and hold on and run from the war zone, okay? And so I'm known in my family as Baby Tết Mậu Thân, mean Tết mean Vietnamese New Year, Mậu Thân mean it's the, it's the year of the monkey, but I was born at the end of the year of the, the goat. So while I was only two months old, and they have to grab me and run from the year of the monkey, Tết Offensive, 1968. That is happening around, you know, first or the second month, uh, January, February of the of the Roman calendar, meaning the regular Western calendar, right? But we Vietnamese or we Asian, we use the uh, lunar calendar, the harvest moon calendar. So the lunar calendar goes behind the Roman calendar a month or two. It depends on the year and sometimes the new year. Lunar New Year falls on January, sometimes it falls in February. Rarely does it go late and fall in Mar March, but it did before, once or twice. Anyway, so being 50 years old in two years, I feel a little pangs of, uh, not regret, but like uh, unaccomplished life, okay? I, uh, I've been here 35 years in America. I have done much, but then not much success is shown. I guess life is a uh, to me. Some people or in the movie, they, in the movie uh, stories, you know, they portray it. You know, work hard and success, like Fight Club. You know, they make you think like you can become a millionaire. Well, a lot of people do become a millionaire, but I think not me. I become a thousandaire, okay, <laughs> because that's how much I have. You know a few thousand in, in the bank but anyway I'm not lamenting the fact that I'm poor I'm just saying that there's a little, little disenchantment or dissatisfaction I'm not 100% gratified with my life okay it could be better financially but that's wealth that's what I don't have a lot but health wise and love and happiness I have abundantly Love, let, let me brag, my wife is uh, very hot, she, uh, she's wonderful, and so the sex is good, that's love, okay? And the love of family, my family is not too turbulent, not too tumultuous, not too up and down. We are pretty level-headed people, we enjoy each other company, and we don't bicker or argue massively. We're not dysfunctional. Everybody is... Uh, Dysfunctional a little bit, but we're not terribly, terribly dysfunctional. Happiness, you know, my children are, ha are happy and uh, they're grown and they're respectful. So, in a way, that's that's good. So, love, health, wealth, and happiness, I have three out of four, not bad, okay? But, <clears throat> let me make this video about love. <clears throat> in life, don't try to make uh, anything other than love. I think love first then you be happy, right? If you have love, you're happy. If you're happy, you have health. Health comes very easily if you have love and, um, and happiness. But wealth, you know, a lot of people are wealthy and they're miserable. They are, you would call, miserable fucks. They're terrible people. They're no good. And they feel miserable inside and people hate them too, you know? So if you know a lot of people hate you, you can't really enjoy life that much. You know? Oh, man. The whole world is against me, you know? Namely, Donald Trump. That guy, to me, he's an asshole, you know? Some of the stuff he says is good, but I think he's just a devil advocate. He's just 
thumping things, you know, he's pressing the pressure point of us, you know, making us, us either hate him or love him. But overall, he, I think he's an okay individual. He's welcome to his point of view. I don't mind it. This is America. In a way, I'm respectful of him for doing that because, hey, if there's some racist uh, blood in me or some um, something I say uh, that I know would offend people, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't say it, but he would say it, you know. So in a way, that's admir admirable. Admirable, okay? You should always say and do what you feel because those who matters don't mind and those who mind don't matter. That's what Dr. Seuss say, okay? So never ever hold back. But naturally, I hold back. You hold back, right? You don't go and tell your friend, hey, you ugly, man. Go have a cosmetic surgery or something. Fix your nose, fix your tooth or teeth, see? Or something. I have a, a fake tooth, a crown, so it's, it's gonna fall out one of these days. And I'm saving like $3,000 to fix it soon. But I don't have the money yet. Anyway, so the important thing is life is say what you want and do what you feel like doing, okay? Because those who mind don't fucking matter. And those who matter with you, they don't mind if you say it, okay? So enjoy life, my friends. And live with passion. May you always be loving, laughing, and living your life to the fullest. That's my wish to you. Thank you.